What's happening people? Welcome to another video with all sorts and welcome to another super smartwatch comparison and this is the part three here we have six different series six clone smartwatches i'm going to show you a comparison between all of these what the features are like and at the end of the video i'm going to give you my opinion on which i think is the best but do let me know in the comment section below which one do you prefer and also if i missed any smartwatches then let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making a part four for that but anyways make sure you follow me i want of these social medias as I always pop sneak peeks on what to expect and all sorts and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified so let's get started the smartwatch is on again the HW22 Pro the Vivo Fly 5 DT100 K100 M16 Pro And last but not least The HT99 Let's get straight into it. I didn't know how to do this, but I'm going to leave the smartwatches on the box as most of these smartwatches look the same and I don't want it to get mixed up. So if they're on the boxes, I know which one is which. But if you want to see an unboxing review of either of these or any other smartwatches, check out my fake watches playlist as all the smartwatches are in there. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you what this watch is like, not in depth though, but just what it's like because it gives me a recap on what the features are like. So this is the HT99, as you can see here. I have been told this boot up logo uh, can be changed. I don't know about the tone, but you know what the tone is like. So here we have the HT99. First of all, the crown does work. So that is one good uh, feature. It has got a lot of smart uh, well, watch faces, but I'll let you uh, check out the unboxing and review. So swipe it down will give you the notifications. Swiping it will give you the shortcuts as you can see right here. Uh, and you can also swipe it down as it has different kinds of shortcuts. This is the first smartwatch that actually does this. The rest have only six or maybe even less and you can't swipe down uh, with the crown. So that actually works right there. Coming into the uh, shortcuts, you also have your heart rate. Bear in mind, all of these smartwatches in this part three, the heart rates don't actually give you accurate reading. So let me just get that out of the way. So to go into uh, the menu, you have to just push the crown in and you can use the crown as well to swipe down. There we have it. And you can also go into app download, swiping it back up. We'll actually give it to you there. Swiping it to the left will change the watch faces. So let's go into menu and let's see what the features you got. You got your motion, Siri, power saving, shutdown, file manager as well, which you can uh, connect this to your computer and add some uh, music onto it. And you can play the music from the music player. So that's what memory is got. So it has got memory on this watch. Swipe back does work calendar theme history it's also got theme you can change the back background on this overall this is a really good watch it's got two themes uh, history oxygen it's also got some games as well flappy bird four different games flappy bird is the best one so you can check the full unboxing review if you want to check that out so you've got uh, countdown vibrator ring reminder notification dialer well, phone book call logs bluetooth uh, pedometer, body temperature, sleep monitor, weather, sport, heart rate, pressure, main menu style. Let's see how many main menu styles we can choose from. You've got uh, five different main menu styles. I'll let you check out the unboxing and review to see which one is which. But yeah, overall, this HT99 is looking very good when it comes to my personal best opinion. But just before I tell you that, we're gonna check the other ones out. So, the HT99, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Push it down, push the uh, button down, press shut down. And also the design, they have a button here, mic and also crown. They all actually work with two, well, Yep, two speakers as well. So that is the HT99.
Coming to the second Series 6 clone smartwatch, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Vivo Fly 5. I don't know if this is an upgrade or a downgrade, but let's just get straight into it. So all uh, while this is booting up, you've got uh, the same design, the crown, mic and button, they all actually work. Uh, let's swipe it down, that gives you uh, the shortcuts, you've only got six shortcuts and also you've got three different menu options which you can change on the shortcuts right there that's your bluetooth and uh, let's just switch it to uh, the list view as we always like it here on all sorts so i connect to the left well it just it's in its own world this one Swiping it to the left, you also have the split screen, which is a good feature, which controls the apps where you've already used, temperature, the weather, and also the date and time. Uh, does the crown actually work? Let's just take a look at the crown. Yes, the crown works and it has a lot of watch faces as well. So pushing the crown in, you can actually go to your menu and here are some of the features it's got. So like I said, it's got sport, heart rate does not work. It don't give you accurate reading, pedometer, sleep, uh, dialer, call logs, phone book, messaging, remote notifier, record, uh, re well record, because you can actually record voice notes on this, Siri search, clock, calendar, weather, Bluetooth music, a remote capture, alarm, stopwatch, calculator, mas hand massager as well, find device, GPS, QR code, settings, so uh, it has got a few features, but no games, no passcodes, stuff like that. It's pretty basic, and it is same as the Vivo Fly 4, what we've done previously. So if you want to see a full unboxing review of this watch, make sure you check it out. I'll give you the dimensions of what the screen is like. They're all 1.75 inch display screens uh, with a 44 millimeter body. But basically, they all are similar with a little bit of differences when it comes to the features. So here we have the Vivo Fly 5. What what do you think let me know in the comment section below coming to this m16 pro now this they all come in different colors but i had to choose different colors just so that i don't get mixed up with them take a look at the body first just the crown actually work you've got a micro tap but this button is actually fake a bit of shame about that because this i'm going to tell you a bit early is one of the good watches it's, it doesn't have wireless charging it's a four pin charger and let me just show you the uh, ht99 is the wireless charger it's not a, a magnetic pin the vivo fly five same again it's a uh, wireless charger it's not a magnetic pin but the um, m16 pro is a four pin magnetic charger uh, the body is really thick as well let's push the button in and switch it on for you to show you what it's like so you've got vibration with the startup tone and logo now what i'm going to tell you this has got loads of features number one it's got loads of watch faces so if you want to see what that check out the uh, unboxing review I will, i'll let you know how many uh, watch faces it's got so the shortcuts you've only got six shortcuts so here we have the menus and you've got six different menu styles if you want to see what they are then check out the previous video that is to find the watch when you connected it to your phone you've got loud bluetooth and uh, silent mode swipe well that's swipe up swiping it to the left you've got your uh, split screen pushing it in again so to get the menu up you've got to push it in and check that motion out so that's just one of the good features it's got so you've got dialer phone book call logs messaging motion uh, record record heart rate uh, you've got your social media apps as well uh, bluetooth music breath phone it's got games a video player so this so mc6 is m m16 pro is the first smartwatch that has a video player there are a few smartwatches that has a music player um, but this one has a video player i did actually try and put it up on my uh, computer but it's not actually having it i'm trying i'm trying still trying to get it does actually detect the smartwatch onto the computer but it doesn't let me put a video so i'm still trying to uh, get that sorted if i do i will leave another video up on my also channel but yes this does have a video player which is one of the good features so here we have a few uh, social media apps at the bottom check the motion out alarm stop uh, stop watch remote capture find my watch calendar calculator settings audio plays there as well sound recorder app downloaded temperature and a few others check that out going into settings on this m16 pro it also has 
an LCD always on display which is a really really good feature so yeah this smartwatch has a lot of good features it's a shame about the all the buttons not working the thickness of the smartwatch as well forget the color because you can get different colors in this but i've got to say this is one of the good smartwatches so this is the uh, m16 pro you can check the full unboxing review on my also channel moving on to the dt100 so we have done a few other dt smartwatches this just boosts up straight away but look at the screen to body ratio it's really good on this one and it's really smooth as well i'm not gonna lie it's got some really good watch faces check out the review for that so let's swipe it down but look at the show course this is definitely a new layout compared to the previous ones you've seen or on the other videos but check that layout you can control your music your brightness as well swiping it down does it work or oh, you just type tap it in like that but it still actually works which is really good it's a really good layout information let's click that and that just gives you the qr code swiping it to the left it gives you a split screen which also shows you notifications and uh, your other apps what you use and your time and date but i have got to say the screen is really really smooth swiping it up uh, does the crown work yes it does but look how smooth that is as well really nice and smooth it's got hand massager breathing female assistant if you want that menu style settings what menu style has it got it's got four different menu styles settings you can change your dial switch screen time password it has got a password on so it's really good do they have games i forgot if it actually had games because there's that many smartwatches i've actually unboxed and reviewed i'm kind of forgot what uh what features as well but i don't think this has got games but you can check out the full unboxing and review it's got loads of watch faces uh but i have got to say this is a really smooth watch with a really nice body to uh, screen ratio it hasn't got the buttons just got a, a mic cut out and also the crown everything is done by the crown but it comes in a few different colors and this is one of the nicest colors i've actually got check that out and it's also a two pin charger magnetic charger not a wireless charger so that's the dt100 here we have the fk100 yes you heard me right i've done all the fk smartwatches check them out previously some are in the part one and part two of the super smartwatch comparison but here we have the latest version which is the fk 100 the body is got a crown mic and also a button which all three actually works you've got two speakers one and a half actually works i don't know if you can see it on camera half of this one is actually cut off but this is a really nice matte black color so let's push in the button to see what boot up logo we get i think one of these you have to put push in the crown even though it has a button yes it's this one so this one you have to push in the crown uh, even though that button works but that is really, really, loud, really loud. that boot up tone is awful so it's a bit laggy i'm not going to lie swiping it down as you can see you've got your shortcuts right there the crown is really rough it's really hard when you want to use it so let's swipe it to the left it has got the split screen as you can see right there a bit of a different design swiping it up you can actually go through your shortcut features swiping it to the left it goes down to your menu and does the crown work no it doesn't that is definitely a shame but let's see what we get in the menu so messages dialer phone book call logs bluetooth notification ecg sleep monitor weather heart rate sport blood pressure oxygen bluetooth music calendar alarm stopwatch find phone body temperature uh, settings let's go into settings see what we get in settings uh, bluetooth linked up clock notification bright units uh, volume display international so there's not a lot of features in there calculator uh, language app download motion voice assist that is siri power saving main menu style how many main menu styles do we have we have four main menu styles fun which have two games you can check them out on the unboxing review and yeah that's about it so you got a few uh, social media uh, apps so you can actually get your notification from there and drink reminder 
that's about it so overall um, this FK100 I don't know if it's like a, another upgrade or a downgrade in my opinion is a downgrade the crown doesn't even work it has got some okay watch faces as you can see but like I said in any of these make sure you check out the review uh, to see what kind of watch faces you get and also uh, in depth I'll look at all the features and also if you can get custom features uh, watch faces on this you just check out the review on that but this FK100 in my opinion is not that good so let's power this down as the battery is low or oh, you got to use the crown so let's push in the crown really loud really loud so that's the FK100 last off we have the HW22 Pro this is the latest version HW22 Pro as you would know I've done all the HW smart watches you can check it out on my previous video take a look at the design the crown micro towel and the button pushing the button in it comes with hello do they have a tone just a little tone right there nice move or not compared with the last one damn so yeah so it has quite a few watch faces with also split screen lock uh, passcode lock which is really good does the crown work we'll check that out this only comes with six shortcuts you got your loud uh, brightness menu um oh that's the game oh sorry that's the menu you can have different menus which is good uh, let's swipe it down torch bluetooth and power saving mode most of these watches do have power saving mode as well so let's uh, push the screen in and that will bring up the menu and as you can see the crown does work so messages dialer phone book call logs bluetooth pedometer notification ec you know, ecg uh, that is your sleep monitor I'm trying to look at that one sport heart rate Swapping back up, oxygen, Bluetooth, you would know it's got the uh, normal uh, menu and as you can see Bluetooth music linked to app, notification, brightness, display, international change language, sound, passcode as well so that's really good. Does it have any games? Let's check. So it's got emotion, languages, power saving, main menu style, you've got notifications, it has got fun. So it's got two different games. So overall, it's, this is an uh, okay smartwatch. Uh, it could be better with some of the features, but like I said, if you want to see a full unboxing review, check out my previous video. Let's switch this off, because battery will probably go on it. And I am going to tell you now, which smartwatches we are going to eliminate so first of all we're eliminating this fk100 because it's a new smartwatch and uh, it, it lacks uh, quite a few features second of all we're going to eliminate this vivo fly 5 because it could be a bit better i don't know if that's an upgrade or a downgrade to the previous even though it's one up uh, here we have the HT99 M16 Pro DT100 HW22 Pro. I'm going to take off this. Uh, oof, it's a bit hard. These are four of the best smartwatches I've used. By bearing in mind, in my opinion, uh, I'm going to take off the HW22 Pro. So that we have eliminated next. Uh, DT100. That's what I'm taking off next. So that leaves us with these two. These are the HT99 and the M16 Pro. These both are really good smartwatches in my opinion. Uh, the, this one contains all the features that uh, you would want in a smartwatch except the button which is fake right there. It's got always on display, split screen, passcode, voice recorder, uh, voice uh, mp3 player a new feature which is a video player as well don't worry i'll get around to doing that on, my, on another video uh, but it just lacks the design and also the thickness the ht99 this looks exactly the same as the original it's a nice slim body has the same packaging as the original as well lacks a few features compared to the m16 uh, pro but overall is a decent watch if i had to choose between both of these I would go for the HT99. It's a really good watch, nice, slim. It's not as thick as the M16 Pro. If it was the feature-wise, just that video play, if I had to have that working, it would be the M16 Pro. So, I'm gonna have to eliminate 
the M16 Pro and go for the HT99. This is a really good smartwatch. I purchased it from uh, AliExpress. Just type in HT99 and you'll be able to find one of these smartwatches. This is the best smartwatch I've unboxed and reviewed on all source. If you want to see any other videos with this smartwatch, then let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching the part three of the super smartwatch comparison. If I missed any of the smartwatches, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make another part four. But I'm gonna uh, I might actually use this watch or do an outdoor test so if you want to see that do let me know anyways thanks again for watching and I'll see you again for another video